Since 1960, France has invaded Africa more than 50 times. Look at the Central African country of Gabon as one example. Gabon is particularly important to France because it has a huge supply of oil and an even bigger supply of uranium. Among the African colonies, Gabon was historically one of the very closest to France. In 1967, a man named Omar Bongo became Gabon's president, soon turning the country into a one-party dictatorship. And Bongo was intimate with France. He had been appointed after flying to Paris for what was basically a job interview with the president. So under Bongo, France and Gabon enjoyed a relationship that benefited both sets of elites. Gabon's oil was pumped by the French state-owned oil company ELF, and its uranium went right into France's arsenal of nuclear weapons. In return, France subsidized Gabon's budget, especially the parts that flowed into the pockets of Omar Bongo and his family. At one point, Bongo was worth over $130 million. Gabon, meanwhile, remained poor and underdeveloped. Under Bongo, it had one of the highest infant mortality rates in the world. Instead of investing in the Gabonese economy, Bongo spent state funds on influencing French politics in his favor, bankrolling the campaigns of central future French presidents. Even today, France keeps troops in the country to support Gabon's current ruler, who happens to be Omar Bongo's son. 